guys, let's talk a little bit about selecting the right boat for what you're doing. And, and that's what I have spent almost 11 years doing with, the, with, with people and customers over time. The biggest thing that I'll get asked is, I have this motor, what boat do you recommend? Or I have this boat, what motor do you recommend? And really nobody's asking the question. The question is load. When you have a 90 horsepower Mercury or a 115 Yamaha or something like that, it doesn't care if there's two people in the boat or four. You don't notice much difference. But you do with these mud motors. There's basically lawnmower engines that we're trying to propel 20 foot boats with four guys in. Load is key. It's everything. So what you have to ask yourself is, how many guys am I going to have in this boat on an average day? Not what you might do two or three times a year or once when your cousin comes in to visit. When you get in it most of the time, how many people are going to be in that boat? If the answer to that is a big number, three most of the time and, and a lot of times four, you need to be in a wider, longer hull. It's all about displacement. You have to have a hull that is wide enough and or long enough and probably a combination of the two to displace a load that or enough water to carry a load that size. Here's an analogy for you. Put five guys in a canoe. The whole canoe knifes down into the water and drafts way more water than the, than the guy that made the canoe ever intended for it to draft. These hulls draft four to five inches of water as long as you don't overload them. And the way you combat that is buying your boat to match the load that you carry. Nothing else matters. You got to have enough horsepower back here to push it, but you can do that with these 35s on up. You get a 35 on the back of one of these Gator Tracks hulls that we're looking at here today, and you buy the right hull for the load, three to four people, 54 inch bottom. This is a 17 and a foot, uh, 54 inch bottom boat with a hunt deck that gives you an 18 and a half foot overall length hull with a 54 inch bottom. You can haul a load in this boat. If you tell me, look, man, I, I carry three guys a lot and four guys, guys sometimes, but I cross a lot of open, rough water. Uh, the, the waves get kind of high in here. I'm going to step over into this boat here. Same length, 1750, narrower bottom. Hunt deck in the back, so it's the same length. 18 and a half foot total length, including the hunt deck. We narrowed up the bottom in this boat a little bit, and the sides came up taller. Remember, we talked about the hulls being made from one solid piece of aluminum. This is the same eight-foot sheet as that was. All we did was change the bottom width so the sides would come up taller. This is another good load-carrying boat as well. So for big loads, uh, depending on whether or not your, your load is bigger than the water you carry, that's the questions you have, the water you cross, that's the questions you have to ask yourself. Rough water and a big load, this is an awesome boat to have. Protected water and a really big load, the 54 would be a good boat to have. If you say, look, I'm only going two guys, uh, most of the time, three guys occasionally, you can you can use any of these hulls for that, but you can get away with the narrower boat, which is the 44. I'm going to step over and hit now. This 44 inch bottom boat has been around a long time. It's one of the first ones we started making and it, and it stayed for 11 years at Gator Tracks because it's a good seller and it works well. This boat is for two guys most of the time, occasionally three, very skinny backwaters, all protected. This is a good boat for that. Remember, match your boat to the load that you carry and then put an, a, a 35 or up on the back and you're golden. There's a lot of other variables when you start talking about smaller motors, but the boat matching the load never changes. Even if you go down to a smaller 23 horsepower motor, you still have to ask yourself, how many guys am I going to have in that boat? If you tell me four, you're asking for something that's unrealistic. You need a bigger motor. If you can't have a bigger motor for wildlife management area restrictions, things like that, then it's even more important to match that boat to the load. Displace the water that you need to carry the load that you're trying to carry on an average day. Remember that last statement, on an average day, and you live with the 10%. Build the boat for the 90%, live with the 10%. They don't make one that does it all.